Alrighty guys, all right, doing well. we're back with some more Haunting of Hill House Reactions. A scary ass show, but a good ass story. Um, I think it's episode 5. What is the episode name though? I forgot. Yeah, the oh. Bareback Lady. Yeah. Bareback yeah. Lady. Oh god. This does not sound... Oh, so, shit. it's gonna be a nah. Nell episode. It is gonna be a Nell episode. Oh shit, really? I'm excited. I mean, no. she, probably. Oh man, so we're gonna see the suicide? Uh, probably, yeah. Hopefully. I'm yeah, not gonna lie. Hopefully, Jesus. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I never thought I was gonna be excited for like you know a horror thing, but like, hats off. Yeah, a horror show. Horror show. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Horror show. Horror. I've uh, been looking forward but, to this honestly. Like this is this is a, I've been more excited to watch this show, partly to get it over with, but also because it's very interesting and well shot and well acted and well written. Yeah. Last episode we saw her twin basically going like saying that that was not Nell's death and he was finding out that like that was that Nell did in fact die and everything so I'm excited to see how that mm -hmm. song connect like I love that twin thing right now that's going on and Luke is not dead you know, right he's, he, he's a well alive but he has like that uh, tall ghost man that looked like his mom in the he end like the tall man following yeah. him yeah the, the man who? who floats the floaty boy remember the guy the, the ghost who got his hat back and it was like now following Luke everywhere oh yeah. I forgot about that I remember that he was he was riding on a little invisible Segway. Hey man, I was traumatized. Unless I forgot, <laughs> you know how my brain works. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure you're. Come on, Pat. You got to remember it, man. You can't just traumatize, block these memories. Yeah. Then they're gonna all come rushing back at like your worst time. It's gonna like overflow. Yep. Oh, I know. Like right, right. Every time when I got to go piss and I got to turn everything <laughs> on, it sucks. <laughs> like I got to pull the curtain back, turn all the lights on, turn the fan on, so it scares oh, the no man. ghost away. I thought Cash was a good guard dog, but. You know. Nah, she sleeps with all that shit. She <laughs> shit. Well, <laughs> I heard something about this show that I don't think I want to reveal until the end. Is it that it's based on a true story that's one hundred percent factual? No. What? Chris was like, Chris. He, first of all, he already said that. You already had that reaction, and he was lying. But yeah, <laughs> it's based off of a novel. That's not what I was gonna say. But well, I'll, I'll say it at the end of the uh, at the end of the show. See if Ooh. you guys know. Right. Wait, if it's based off a novel, is it based off uh what's the older brother's name? I forget. Hot Tub Time Machine. Okay. <laughs> I don't what? Have, I don't have my proper notes because like I'm gonna move. But yeah. Well, is this a market substitute, y'all? It is no, not. It's not a... Guys, this isn't a market substitute. Make sure you support the OG content on your own and feel free to support the normies as well by supporting normies over on patreon you can watch ahead and watch uncut how about that okay. and on top of that supporting us over on patreon means that you are supporting our creative endeavors such as the podcast the cooking channel oh, the cooking show the gaming channel uh the skits the oh lord streams we do so much and we do it for y'all and it's crazy and it's creative and it's awesome who can live such a life what god the camera angles are so creepy in this show Fuck, man. Look, you're just creepy. Oh. Tell me what's inside your mind. Goals. You know what's inside my mind. I am. Hmm. You are. I am. Oh, shit. Oh, whoa. I know this almost sounds really weird. Not at all. Sleep paralysis is actually more common than you think, but it's mm -mm. completely harmless. This ain't no sleep paralysis. Which is easy for the sleep. The last doctor I saw, my, my general practitioner, he wasn't an expert. He just told me to avoid TV before bedtime. <laughs> it's, it's nice to be listened to. Do you drink coffee? Uh, yeah. What does this have to do with the questions? Are you, are you asking me if I want to get coffee? Uh, it's not uh, for the health issues. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why is she so I'm awkward? Sorry. I love her. No, I, I really miss her. I was planning on waiting until the end of your visit to ask you out for coffee. Oh! What? Oh. Ah, that was cheesy. That was cheesy as fuck. That was too cheesy. Everyone does that. Get the fuck out of here. Everyone oh does God. that. Super Come cute pet, you know that? it. Close your face. Good. <laughs> this is so happy. Man. 
I didn't want to see all of this just to know that she's already dead. <gasps> what? <laughs> Oh no. What is she doing in there? It's been a long time. <laughs> Such a caring husband. <laughs> ah! What the fuck? Oh, fuck that. Uh uh. Oh god! What? What? <laughs> Why? Is fucked up. His neck just snapped while he was standing up in a freak accident. I, I started seeing her when I was a kid. And after the house, when we lived with my aunt, I saw her some more. But then he came into my life and she went away. And then she killed him. Well, we've talked about this before. Arthur died of an aneurysm. I know. Well, if you know, then you must also know that it was a, a random tragic event. I know it looked like an aneurysm. It's perfectly normal to want to find something to blame. I know what's to blame. The kill house. That's so fucked up, bro. That's fucked up. Mrs. Dudley, look what I found. What a lovely tea set. Can I keep it? No, girl. Well, let's see. Ain't yours. I think I know who this may have belonged to. Jacqueline. Jacqueline? Jacqueline Hill. That neck Her mom owned... I took care of her when she was old. She lived in that bed. So can I keep it? As long as your parents agree. I'm not going to change out of this one. No. So why would you do that? I, I didn't. I saw you play with chalk yesterday. Yes, on the patio. I wouldn't write on the wall. So it was the didn't... ghost. She's in a mood. I didn't do it. <laughs> I swear. You didn't. I'm going down this wallpaper anyway. Oh shit. Oh fuck. All their names. Oh. oh my god, what the fuck oh, does that mean? I'm happy. Yeah, I'm a real winner. Is this a good place? Oh yeah, it's a palace. Turn left here. A summer camp for junkies. Where are you? Me? Yeah. Hey there. I'm good. Yeah. Yeah, it's been really hard ever since Arthur. Yeah. I've been having a hard time sleeping in that house without him. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's okay. just... Can you take a right and a clover, please? She's trying to talk to He's you. Talking. He's about to buy a fucking score, really. Why are we... See that guy? That guy in the white hat? Yeah? I need to get well before I go in. I owe that guy. And uh, if he sees me coming in and I don't have some money, he's, he's just not going to sell to me. So but, you're uh, going to ask your sister to go buy you. Fuck you. $20 heroin? One balloon? Stop collecting those weapons. Oh, oh God! God. <sighs> she ran his fucking foot hiding the track mark. God, that is so terrifying, man. Like, what the fuck? What are you doing? Oh, no. The first few days he was there, I felt like I had the worst flu of my life. You probably don't believe in the twin thing, do you? I do. Oh, I do. So are we heading out? I'm really excited to see the beach. Not yet. Um, you said you would. Because you know I don't like You said you would. Gloves off? Yeah. The pillow? Which one? That one? Jesus. She's got all those pizza boxes around the room, man. She's fucking on the struggle bus. Anything? Love how no. they dress the set could just tell you so much about what a character's going through. I'm sorry. Bullshit, she didn't even try. Here. That's where he died. Nelly, I don't want to. You said you hey, hey, the fuck! Nelly! That's fucked up. I have a question, Steve. No. I, I didn't know you. I'm so glad you're here. Why do you keep lying to these people? Hmm? Now you stand there and you talk about ghosts and you sell tickets for the privilege and yet you don't believe in any of it. No. And you tell me I'm crazy and that mom was crazy and Luke's. Crazy, and we're all just nuts. And then you tell our stories. 
Well, you know, you're supposed to protect me. But you say the meanest things to me when I try to tell you. Yeah, she's a really good actress. You don't come in here and embarrass me like that. Me embarrass you. Everything Have she said was true. I'm going to ask you something, and I need you to be honest with me. Yes, I'm taking my meds yeah, for the first she, time. She off the walkers. I have to go back to the house and get mommy. I'll be right back, I promise. Stevie, I need you to be in charge, okay? Come here. Come here. Did you notice that Theo didn't want to touch like, him? Call the police. Uh, in the red room, having a tea party with Akka and mommy. How the red room's locked. That wasn't mommy. Mm. Seven. Counting the siblings. Seven coins. Like the seven of them. Mom, dad, and all the kids. Or buttons. Buttons or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> what? Did you find mommy? I found her. Is she okay? She's okay now. It's just pain. You should get some sleep. You've had a rough night. Dude, he looks wired. I have to go with them now and answer some questions. Your aunt Janet's flight gets in and she should be here no later than 2 o'clock. You hold on to this. I'll try to be back here as soon as I can, okay? How are your brother and sisters doing? All her past I calls were freaking siblings and they're all just ignoring her, man. You know, it's now. Um, you send a fucking I need you to call me. It's hard to understand. Everything's so twisted and it's hard to explain, but... Worry about Luke. Oh God! Come on! Come on! Oh, come on, man! I thought we were with to this. the creepiest vending machine hallway. Jesus! Oh, oh, Jesus! God damn it! What gets you to Oh my God! Oh, my God. She's getting possessed. This is where she gets possessed and goes to the house and starts dancing and shit by herself. Yeah. I don't think she's possessed when she goes there. <laughs> she just sat there for fucking 12 hours. She though. possessed. Oh, hell! We used to sneak into the insane, abandoned insane asylum when it was fucking still up Central or State. close to downtown. Do you remember the Benek lady? Oh, creepy, 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 creepy. She's back. And first off, th this house is abandoned. So why are the lights on? Oh, there you are. Where have you been? We were gonna have a tea party. Oh God, it's oh. that night. It's that night. She's over here. No, don't go. Don't go. Stay. Oh my god. Oh my. See, maybe the lights weren't even on. It was just in her head. Like all that. Like all this. I don't is, know. Is she being possessed? Is all in her head? Oh god, no! Oh, fuck. What? It's I don't like think it's all in her head. There's some of the. Yeah. This shit is, is real. Like, like, this shit is really happening to them. I have something you can wear. Middle drawer of my dresser. God, this is so creepy. You're so beautiful. My goodness. We need to get downstairs. We can't be late for the reception. The reception to grant her into oh, this God, house this of horrors is as a new ghost. I'm so proud of you, Ben. Thanks for believing in me, Billy. No, fuck. Yep, they showed this. Yeah, they showed this exact scene in framing without him before. Very clever, very clever. Oh god. Oh god. Jesus Christ. Oh shit, all these extra people are fucking ghosts, dog. Huh? It was the nun, it was the tall Yeah. yeah. The oh my god. Yep. It's Hazel. We're gonna have a tea party. That's what happens when you steal their tea party. Oh no. Oh no. 
the rope. Why? Why? The bent neck lady was hung. Nelly. The necklace. I knew a fucking locket was oh, gonna come into play one. here. It's yours now. Fuck. Oh god. Oh god, this don't feel right. She put the rope on, she didn't put the locket. Reminds me uh, a lot, a lot, a lot of um, Omar Katz is traumatized for life. Yeah, Chris, you got fucking kicked immediately, Chris. Okay. <laughs> Stone faced every time Sydney sends a screen cap of all of us freaked the fuck out. Chris is just sitting he, there like, yeah, he is. He's the bent neck. Right. Chris, Chris, Chris is a ghost. So that was wild. That was her. It was her the whole time. She was so, seeing herself. So she dying. was. So she was a ghost. No, I mean, no, no, she was just seeing. I mean, yeah, she is. I, I don't know, she was seeing herself. So, like, so, at the so, end there. So, she didn't kill her mom? No. No. So, the mom didn't get killed by the ghost? I don't know that. I'm confused, bro. So, hold up, ghosts are fake? I mean, who knows, bro? That's <laughs> like, what, how is anybody supposed to answer that question? I mean, she was definitely seeing her own death there throughout yeah. her whole life, yeah. so but that was real. That's also but what pushed her. I don't know to how the mom died. Suicide, like she went back there because she was haunted by these images of her future that she didn't know was her future, and then it's like a weird self fulfilling prophecy, man. I definitely think she. I'm sorry. I definitely think she's haunted, and I definitely think that there's some supernatural shit going on, obviously. But like, what kind of hell does she live in now, where? That's her fucking afterlife, is that she's appearing to her younger self to, like, push her to become the person that she is now. It's so fucked up. This is the most fucked up fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. Hold on, hold on. I, I, I'm so confused over here. So, like, she's... She, Alright, so she did. she's not a ghost. She did see the ghost, and this was all a mental issue? She no, is a ghost. She is a ghost. <laughs> she was definitely seeing something. If it was a mental issue, she wouldn't have seen exactly how she died there. Yeah. Okay, that so, was definitely some supernatural shit. Okay, that was supernatural. Okay, know, it's supernatural shit. I don't shit. know if she's like still like now going back to haunt her previous self. I think it was just like a one-time thing. Like I don't but know. But I mean, I don't you see how it's a like it's a time loop though, a ghost right? Where like yeah. younger Nell yeah. grows up to become older Nell, who kills herself and shows herself to younger Nell that traumatizes herself and pushes her eventually to kill herself again like it's, it's like a horrible yeah. cycle and like now you know yeah, why like the bad neck lady was going no 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 i was like wondering yeah, why she was saying no no no, no 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 in the beginning no, of the episode no. wow it's a, dude this is wow. like honestly bro like <sighs> fucking nell's story is so crazy and it's like makes me so upset nobody was like listening to her like somebody i know yeah. The dad, the dad picked up, but she never usually calls the dad. Yeah. God. Yeah. Like I don't, th I don't think anyone usually is in touch with the dad. That, that oh my god. Bro, that was nuts. Dad, I'm fucking scared as fuck. I know, bro. That shit was fucking <laughs> freaking. That means any one of us could be a ghost. I'm not a ghost. We're not ghosts. <laughs> yep, right here, that's right now. The conclusion. That is the. Lessons <laughs> <so that's laughs> <important>. learned. <laughs> Cliff notes: We are all ghosts. 
Um, you know, to some people we are. <laughs> Damn, this is crazy. So, what was your sleep paralysis story? Oh, man, am I here now? So, it was kind of to that extent where that Nell was going through. It's only ever happened once in my life. And, like, so... I had an ex that always had sleep paralysis and she would always tell me about her stories and I was just like, huh, sounds weird. And like after we, that relationship was done uh, and I'd never experienced this before in my life, but you know my, my, my room at my parents' place where we first started the channel? Yeah. Yeah. Like there's that yeah. big window huh. there. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, Chris, I don't know if you, but like um, there's a window that looks directly to my neighbor's house and there's a window there too to a room. And there's just a sweet older Asian couple that lives there. There's, they're, you know, they're nice. They're always working out in their garden. So I, I was like in a dream, I guess. Or I thought I was dreaming. And I was looking out that window to their window. And I saw just like, I couldn't see the face clear in detail. But there was just a shadow just like looking at me. And you, right now it's giving me goosebumps to talk about it. But it was just like looking at me from window to window. And I was like, this is weird. This is a dream. And so I turned to like look at my bedroom door, like because you know there's like there's a little bit of a distance to my bedroom door from the bed where I was, and then I, that same thing was there, and it looked like it could have been a lady, but it was just like staring at me, and I was awake, but I couldn't move, and I was, remember just being like, I'm dreaming, I'm dreaming, I need to wake up. Why can't I wake up? Why can't I wake up? And it was like literally for like a good minute that I was just sitting there like terrified because like I was like, oh shit, is this real? And then, like, I ended up blinking, and then it disappeared. So I was awake. So you were, like, sleepwalking. But it was, like, a dream. I see, don't know. I was see, laying there. But, bro, like, I, it, that, it was, like, what they said I'm, in the show. Like, yeah. it's a, you're in the dream state, and you're in real life. Yeah. But who's to say that shit is not there? That's what I'm saying. Like, Fuck. You know what I mean? I, we don't understand how dreams work. Oh, my God, bro. Tell me time to tell the motherfucker, bro. Every time that shit happens to me, there's a ghost out here, man. <laughs> I'm scared. I shouldn't have even brought that up. It's going to conjure it again. Man, I'm not going to lie. That, that does yeah. sound scary. I've never personally experienced like sleep paralysis or anything near like, I, you know. Hey, hey, hey Stuart, hold up. Let me, let, let me ask you a question. Whenever you had one of those, all right, and when you were like, let me, like, when you That's were trying. That's the only time I've ever had one. Okay. Oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> let me ask you this. When you, were, when, when you were having that, were you, were you trying to say something and you couldn't say anything and like no one could hear you? You couldn't talk? Like, you, your mouth was moving, but you couldn't say shit? Yeah, yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't say anything. I, like, but, I but your mouth was moving. The, the mouth, your mouth was moving, but like no words was coming out, and like no one yeah, could hear you, right? Yeah. Bro, that shit yeah, fucking yeah, happens yeah, yeah. to me all the fucking time. I feel like nobody could hear me when I'm saying shit. Oh my god, damn it! Nightmare, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but like, but you're actually awake. Cause like, I thought I was dreaming, and I no, I was yeah, you like, wake you, up, wake up, wake yeah. up. Yeah, but I didn't ever wake up. I just eventually like was able to blink it out of my vision and then I was like uh couldn't go back to bed you guys ever stay up late enough to see the shadow people terrifying. though I've seen them doing the 48 you just shadow people oh my god not dead serious <laughs> shadow people's a real thing I'm dead. if you stay up long enough like you start seeing traces of shit that's yeah. right there like you just hallucinate yeah. but it's always like shadow people for whatever yeah. reason well luckily yeah. Nelly had an yeah, Arthur there to help her throughout the night and everything but he died yeah uh, I'm not a big fan Man. of how they were mishandling the whole Nell's mental state situation. Yeah, you mean like the those siblings? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I just yeah, that was. Annoying. I just I don't know. I feel because like it does suck and everything, and I think like for them they're doing that because they want to push that like supernatural and disbelief out of their life so much and yada yada so like I mean not even that it's also that they've probably been dealing with it like everyone yeah. here has had a family member that has something going on and it's like alright so yeah they're showing it right now and Nell's in her 20s but that means that for the last 20 years especially for Steven because he's known her since before you know before she was born that they've been dealing with this shit so it's like okay yeah this is another thing that's happened it's happening again, and, like, we're going to deal with it in the same way. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I just I think it's unfair to put it on the other sibling. Yes, they could have handled it better, 100%, but they probably have fatigue. This is probably, like, the 100th time this shit has happened. You know what I mean? Well, but, like, yeah. if you consider, yeah. for example, Theo being able to even see, like, the supernatural, yeah. like, yeah. ghost, that like, people's cool. fear and all that, and, like, for her to be just like, uh, don't fucking touch me. Like yeah, that's just that, yes. She wants Theo, she answers. Obviously, she's gonna ask you to help her. I mean, that is like a sensitive. 
it is like a sensitive thing though like for her to feel that and like you yeah know, she, she has her have... own theo has her own boundaries she probably doesn't want to re-experience yeah. old boy's and death I, like because she would have regardless have felt that i understand that and like respecting people's boundaries and she shouldn't have like pushed her hand on the floor in that moment but also yeah i feel like theo could have been more sh- like <sighs> forward and like you know maybe like I don't know, like breathe out and just try it. You know what I, I mean? Like for her sister's sake, just so that she can find peace. And even if she didn't want to tell her the truth, she could like make something up. Maybe it would help her. I think that with Theo and Charlotte, we see two different approaches. Cause Charlotte, the only power, like the only thing Charlotte can do for people is like to make them look brand new again, you know, before they're seen for the last time. And, oh, like, Shirley, you mean? That's Shirley. I'm saying I said Charlotte like twice. Uh, Shirley, but. And in a way, that's, like, a not selfish thing, you know what I mean? Like, she's doing this for people, and it's a shit job, in my opinion. But, like, um, with Theo's thing, like, she's kind of selfish about it because, like, it takes a lot out of her to do it. So, like, I get that. But I totally yeah. think that, like, that's her superpower. And, like, if my sister, knock on wood, has a husband who dies and I can see fucking ghosts, then obviously I'm going to show up to do what I can because, like, that's just what I would do. Especially from such a freak accident, a random tragic event or whatever they called yeah. it. Yeah. Man, life well, is so a like you know how the mo- event, bro. you know how the mom said like she was having like a headache that day or whatever, like something like in her head, like she was like was like obviously symptoms of aneurysm before it like actually happened because like a blood clot. So don't you uh, maybe that maybe anyone who dies because of her I guess aneurysm. So does she is, there, is it like a toxin because like they were drinking the tea set. So, like, whatever's that tea set, that old-ass tea set, like, would it be a toxin to give you no. the aneurysm and then happy or hallucinate like that? Maybe, not t- maybe it was the just, like, regularly aneurysm. haunted or something. But yeah, no, so her aneurysm. mom... Yeah, the, the guy had the aneurysm. The, the mom, the mom yeah. already uh, had those headaches from, like, another episode, episode we saw. Yeah. I just think, like, the minute she touched that, like, tea set from Hazel or whatever, she, like, officially got, like, haunted. Right. Can I say about... I don't know. She, she she touched the wall. Because when it was when she was touching the wall... Mm-hmm. Also, Supernatural and it's confirmed. Because that wall, there's no explanation yeah. for that. Yeah. It said, come home now. Or and even Theo home. was yeah. like, you didn't do this. So... Mm-hmm. So, uh, so, 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 Pat, I don't okay. think... Listen, scary things and all scary genres do a really good job of this. There's no explanation. If you look for an answer, you're not going to find one. Because it's much scarier that it happens randomly. Or it happens in a way that we can't understand. And to be for real, if ghosts exist, they exist on an other side of a veil that it might as well be a black hole that we can't get to. So whatever the fuck they're up to or whatever or why ever they're doing something is 100% ununderstandable for oh, us right now. Loki, so I, wa- I, wa- I, I, wa- I want it that way. I want it that That's way. I want to be spot. random. I, no, 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 listen, no, no. I'm okay being random. What I'm not okay is saying... Okay, this is all in my head. So if I go off my rocks one day, if I go crazy, or I go cuckoo, or whatever happens, and I'll start seeing ghosts. I don't want that shit because anybody could go crazy. Anybody could go off the rockers and start seeing ghosts. I don't want that. If it's just random, you're like, boom, you start being haunted. Okay, you know. Well, no, they're was, haunted like, as fuck. Like, they're haunted as fuck. So it's haunted. It's not like you having some mental issues and you, you that, that's what I mean. Causes you the answer is you'll never know. That, yeah, I think it's open for interpretation. Like, the guy, like, we could see the psychiatrist talking to her, he did not believe anything she said. And us, we were presented a certain image, which may or may not be reliable. You know what I mean? Like, we saw everything from, we keep seeing everything from the, the family's point of view, and they saw some fucked up shit. So, yeah, yeah who knows? Who knows what I just happened. think that was crazy well done how she's hanging at the end and dropping into all the times that yeah. she'd seen that was a, like that just was a tad like too terrifying. many tad too many times i saw her get hanged like i would appreciate once oh yeah marquette's is running <laughs> so yeah, yeah. yeah. And all, another reason why i say i think nell's haunted and stuff because like that come home nell thing when she was younger and then like when she got older the ghost were welcome home like that was a very yeah. long time coming yeah. Well, and also it was yeah, more of the yeah. paper peeled away, so it always said "Welcome Home." No, it said "Come it Home" all... when she was a kid. I thought that then... it looked like they peeled more paper away, and the welcome was there or something. But regardless, no, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, you're right. It's no, still she shouldn't. wrote it. She oh, was, okay. and oh, she was she writing was... it in yeah. reverse. Ah. It was she wrote, freaking she creepy. She wrote the E and the W from le- uh, from right to left. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yeah, the rest of the kids are not haunted. Mm-hmm. Only Nell was haunted. Luke. There's normal ghosts. They all saw Nell when she died. 
No, they didn't. Only oh. Luke saw Nell when she died. Like, ghost uh, Steve no, saw the, the older brother. Older, uh, older brother oh, saw I mean, her too. Oh, Steve. Sorry. And so what about the Shirley. What about the guy with the hat? What about the guy with the hat? Yeah. Oh my God, man! I th- I thought we saw this Mister just a little ghost guy. Yeah, man. Shirley saw the mom also yeah, in the morgue. Fucking ghost in her basement. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, man. I really Hey I, man, it could be mental, it could be real. It's a little the, yeah, she, you can't you can't ever know, man. That she seemed a little bit of manic I, towards uh, the end there. Yeah, that's right, that's right. That, her brother. That's that, that, like that, exactly. Fuck, bro. Exactly. Exactly. So, hey, you know how people have like so like when people have seizures, they call, it's call, it's like high hyperactive activity in the brain, it's like a super speed activity in the brain. So, are they are they seeing ghosts or are they seeing stuff like that? When they're having a seizure, uh, like, Pat, are they, like, are they, are fact, they having ghost bremer stations? You could just ask a person who has seizures what they see. And you yeah, yeah, yeah. I asked my, I asked my mom. My mom didn't. She said she can't remember. Hmm. hmm. Maybe she didn't want to terrify you because she saw some. <laughs> I've seen multiple people shit. have seizures before. I don't know. They never said they see anything. They always. Actually, I've. They, oh, they, never, they remember. never remember anything. They never remember anything. Like, even my like low, low, low cousin had an accident. If he saw, I remember or saw anything, he said he didn't remember shit. I but, like, had one like, seizure once when I saw. The first time I saw a strobe light. I mean, I kind of remember it, but it wasn't like I was seeing anything, like, super weird. Uh, you were. Okay, so you, it's not like you're, you're not seeing images. You're just seeing. A I light. mean, I don't know. For me, though, that was different. It was also during a haunted house, so, like. What the fuck? Uh, Anything uh, I saw was at a haunted house. Oh man, you got hot there, bro. You hot there. Get the fuck out of here. You didn't haunted, have a it was a strobe light at the first haunted house I went to. It's a difference. <laughs> you hot? The Chris is a ghost. We can't hang out with Chris him anymore. Chris is a ghost. You've seen me during the daytime. <laughs> I can't be a ghost. I'm black. Ghost or white? We've seen this. Oh my god. <laughs> You've seen Casper. Casper is not black. His name's Casper. I, I'm a god. That's so funny. Um, they do a movie about a black ghost that's like dying to be seen. There's a book about a Which black ghost. Uh, I did. I, I did really thoroughly enjoy the scene where like the dad brings the kids to the, the like the motel and everything, and like he's the one who calls the cops and all that. Like it's. He looked so he shook. Did, he did. I wonder what he saw. Like, did he end her? Like, how did he have so much? Blood? Or was he holding her? Like, I don't know. It seemed like he might have put her out of her misery or something, because he was like, "She is now." I mean, he She's definitely got off on now. whatever charge that was. So, we're gonna have to see. I think uh, we still got the dad to get explained, and then really, mm-hmm. I kind of think that since the episodes or the shows going character by character, that eventually we're just gonna get like each of the ghosts' character and kind of figure out their story, and maybe after mm-hmm. that, we'll be able to put it all together. Yeah. I think next is the dad. So like the dad and the mom maybe mom still need dad. episodes. Yeah. 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 Mom, I want to know more about Bowler the mom. Man and little girl Agatha. Dad this is this is only one season, right? No, there's a second season confirmed. It's 666 episodes. But it's an anthology. So, so it's like all the of them all of basically not going to have anything to no. do. With oh yeah, so, so all of the, okay, 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 okay. That's what I was going to ask cuz okay. So they won't be like leak, leaking over to the next season. No. Um No. Nah. I would never buy heroin. The next one's called like Sorry. Oh yeah, what a shitty thing! I would to do. never just, just buy just heroin for something like that's fucked up. That is so fucked up. Like even if my brother is like going like going there like oh it's the last time it's whatever I'm going in yada yada I'm like bitch go in there miserable oh, no. like and, and like low low key like how like uh, you ask your sister to do that but then on top of that you you had the nerve to do that in front of your sister light it up and do all that and get high from, bro how, like you making it awkward as fuck don't you feel embarrassed <laughs> like I feel embarrassed lighting shit up in front of my uh, brother like you, you know exactly you know have the agency to feel embarrassed. They're, they're, at, they're addicts. What man. do you mean? I mean, also, when you're an addict, you you care about getting high, especially in a moment like that. Like Luke, yeah. what what more humility does he have left? Right? Like he's already going to fucking rehab. And I'm not to sit here and say that. I'm telling you that in that moment, because I'm a weak ass, I probably would have done it too. I know everybody shit on me 100 well, percent all day. But what I'm saying is, is that like. I don't know, man. He's going to get fucking high one way or another. He probably would have just bailed on rehab that same night. There's a hundred different things at Factors. But he don't got I don't money. Know, fucking sucks ass. Well, yeah, he would have just left rehab. He could have stole shit from yeah. rehab. I want to say yeah. that I would have Chris, Chris is right. No, I'm not right. That's just my opinion, man. I don't want to say that I no, wouldn't but like, do it. I agree. Because <laughs> it might be like really hard to say no. But yeah. at, the, like, and at the same time, ones. it helped. It, in the end, it helped him. Like, after yeah. that, that was his last dose. He was clean since then. It yeah, I guess, like, maybe every yeah, like every case is different, obviously, and stuff. It's just, like, a loss to ask for, like, someone who's been, like, 
caring and worry about you for so long, knowing this is like an issue in your lives, and you just bring it up like yeah. that, yeah. kind of thing. But like oh. he was clean, and he's not gonna be clean anymore because the twin thing, and he's gonna feel you know no and everything. No, honestly, I kind of feel like this might push him towards being clean all the way, like pure trauma, like yeah. trauma. Mm-hmm. He just made him yeah. look yeah. like he was using. I don't know, man. I mean, I think I think I and him are together now. I mean, I think it might be the other way around. Because like, didn't didn't go to just because he's trying to get rid of the ghost and all that haunted shit. So like, if he's feeling now, that's just gonna be make it worse. He's gonna really try to do more harder just to get over it. So if I could put myself in Luke's shoes, I'd be like, I've been doing drugs all my life to get rid of these ghosts, and guess what? They're still fucking here. Like, I don't think that anything is. There's no mountains that are too tall to fucking climb. I'd be like, I'm gonna figure out how to face this. I'm gonna figure out how to fight these ghosts. I'm gonna figure out how to get fucking so. I'll like, I'll figure out whatever the fuck I need to figure out. But like, getting high has gotten me literally fucking nowhere. So like, I'm done with that now. Like, let's try the next thing. You know what I mean? Um, I I, I, I honestly did my favorite part was when Nell went over to Steve's presentation mm-hmm. and gave him a piece of her mind. I okay. know it was like not appropriate to do it at that time but at the same time i felt every word that she said because yes he is earning money on something he doesn't even believe in while at the same time when she tries to like like get counsel from him and get understanding and support he makes fun of her and tells her that she believes in fairy tales Mm. i give you that on the counseling part but george lucas don't believe in star wars so like Exactly. Thank you. You you no, can no, make no, money no, of not no, believing no, shit. No, 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 no. But like, no. But there's, there's, a, there's a difference. George Lucas was never in fucking mm. space. He doesn't have family in fucking space. You okay? don't know that. Shut the fuck up. I yeah, know this that. is different. This is like real event. <laughs> no, I'm no. At the no, at I, same I know time, what you like. Mean, I know what you mean. At the same time, maybe sees me like an asshole and stuff, not returning calls or answering any of her questions, and this was like the place to do it. Like, you're going to answer me here whether you like it or not, kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, I, but I, you, I, also, you, you need to understand that I get that's, that that's a place Nell, of work. And that's... Especially for the, like, the Steve being an asshole towards her part when she needs help. But, like, I mean, Steve's still got to eat, too, right? He doesn't yep. have any fucking talents. My man, like, I, I, I know it's shitty, but, like, if I see my family out there getting it, I'm like, man, fucking... You, I can get it. Like you gotta survive still. I'll bitch your ass out. And like, if this and their family got to the point where she had to call them out in public, like if it's been so bad for so long that that's what had to happen, then fine. But yeah. I mean, they didn't show that. They showed a couple of times where he was a dick. And I think that's the other thing too is when we yeah. all see everybody being an asshole towards Nell. It's like, I guess you can imply the teenage years, you know, the years through puberty, the years of living with the aunt, all that shit is implied. The but like, phases. We yeah. never saw it, so like we have to take each but- character's word for it. But like, also oh, yeah, I imagine, got imagine her that like your, imagine that like your mother would die, and then no. your brother or your sister will make a book about her death, and they don't like how how does it? Well, she did have a few years like but but hey, hold on hold on years to say something. I, I want to come back. I want to I want to come back, Marquetta. I want to come back, Marquetta. On this, hold up, hold up, hold up. My bladder is so I, full. I am too. Why did I start this conversation? You started it. You hold on. Let me let you know, Lord, I just, I just, I just, you, you just said, imagine if your mother died, and then you write a story about it, and you profit of it, off of it, and you don't believe in that story, right? Well, first off, no one knows, no one knows about the real story because their dad won't say shit. No one knows the exact true story. The kids never talk to each other about it, so no one has an exact true story about it. So if the, even if he takes the stories that Nell says and he writes it and he sells money off of it. I don't think that how's that anything wrong? It's not like he like she never told him like not to do it. She never flat out say don't There's t- nothing wrong with that act within itself. If he actually provided support to her and believed in her and like tried to interview her and get her perspective, but I don't think that that's what he tried to do. Like I don't think he was trying to do it even remotely the right way. He was just trying to make it that was all. Yeah, he was trying to make a fiction. He was trying to make a fiction because, like, yeah, because she be- had she had a good amount of time to like contest it though. Like yeah. he said, like she she had six years, like years, six like, six years, to six to years, six. All of them. I don't know, but I do think that there are a lot of like they, missing parts to the whole entire story. Yeah, so yeah. They they did a good job with showing and not telling with like him talking about her different phases because I do remember Nell dressed up in like this like punkish 
yeah. garb, like attire, with one of the one of the flashback sequences. Yeah. So like, you can you can get a picture of like her kind of being a rebellious, lost young youth. You know. Yeah, I guess my thing is just like at yeah. this moment, and, like she's clearly going through the thing again. Her husband just died, but like again, she's probably went through things back then too. But the husband, that's my part. The husband died. Know, yeah, so yeah. Sad. Well, next time we get together, I'll tell you guys the story about how I'm pretty sure a demon spirit latched onto me one time. Ooh, this could be interesting. <laughs> bro, no, bro, I, no, 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 we can't be doing that kind of shit. First, we got Chris as a ghost, and you over here <laughs> latching onto fucking demon spirits. I can't, I, can't, I can't be your guys' friends no more. I'm sorry, we're done. I, I, it's over. The normies are officially over. I'm, I'm out. I'm out. I'll see you for White Claws tomorrow, Pat. Pat. <laughs> yeah. This is a good episode, guys. Yep. I'm jealous right. you guys are getting together to drink. You're We're drinking it, tomorrow? You know what it does over here. to the rest of us? What are no. we doing? What's the, what's the plan? Bye. Six feet apart. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you all so much for watching this week's episode of The Haunting of Hill House. We'd like to give a special shout out to our super patrons, Eleanor, Joe Mags, Lauren, Michael, Nick Comfort, Ruby Tiger, Dangerous, Neptop, Quentin Martin, Exploring Dylan, Liam Dyer, and Pavi. Thank you and have a wonderful week.